guys and welcome to the chroma side of YouTube what in the heebie-jeebies are we working on today holy guacamole I will tell you we are going to put together a Midori style art journal what is a Midori style journal I will tell you this is an example of a Midori style journal this one I don't believe I've used yet um, well I've kind of used it a little um, you can it is essentially a cover and some bands and you put it together which I will show you how with this kit here now this one is mainly for writing in and throwing in your purse for dates and everything but they do in fact make art journal ones <clears throat> so this is the Jane Davenport collection one and I'm going to show you this is one that I have put together um, she does create art journal covers that um, you don't have to do anything to you can just put the journal together and start working in it she has her own little inserts that you can have in there this one again is one that I bought and I have not gotten around to using it now keep in mind the more you use these things the fatter they get this one again is just got the inserts in it and the cute little accessories and I have not used it yet this one however is the one that I am currently using and having a ball with now do you see how fat this is I mean it just gets that way um, I have my art pins and glue sticks here and when we open this bad boy up we have pockets, stencils, um, a little piece of artwork that I put in here, sketching area, more stencils, a little stamp that I like to use. Uh, this one's going to be the watercolor area, which I haven't done very, or no, this one's going to be the collage area, which I haven't done very much in. Again, I just bought this. Washi tape holder watercolor area which again I haven't done very much in I just kind of piddled around and another washi tape holder with another pocket where I have more pins because I like to have a lot of fine liners these are really cool they just strap on these nifty little clear um, covers to keep your cover of your Midori Nice and clean while you travel with it because essentially this is meant to be a traveling art journal. And hers all, all of her clear ones that I saw at the store had this little girl on there. I don't mind that she's on there because this one in fact has all three of the girls. Without further ado, let me move my used one up. Let's talk about the one that I have laid out. Now obviously, because I have multiples of these, you know that I love this, this Midori style journal. <clears throat> so I went ahead to Michael's the reason why I'm doing this video is because I just discovered that Jane Davenport had them and unfortunately they all were on sale at Michael's for clearance prices which means they are discontinuing um, the selling this item in Michael's craft store but you guys get a cool video now because I could afford to buy all of it at one time <laughs> so without further ado Let's go through it. We have our butterfly book, Jane Davenport canvas journal, which also comes with an insert where you can write. It is uh, just regular paper. So there's that. And this, I bought the white one because I wanted to create it with you all. And I have a really cool idea. Can't wait to share that one with you. Secondly, we have our inserts which I bought marker paper, marker paper, and watercolor paper. Typically, I like to use the watercolor paper, but I bought all they had. So um, each of my journals only has a few little packets of watercolor paper in them. I'm not upset about this. My next all-time favorite thing about this particular Midori-style journal is these pockets are awesome. They are amazing. They are really durable plastic and you can fit a lot of stuff in these and they're beautiful i mean and they kind of have like a clear about them so you can kind of see your artwork if you put something behind there if you would like 
also you get some of Jane Davenport's artwork, backgrounds and things. I love this one. This one's my favorite. You do get, or you can get a traveling washi tape packet and I just picked this up. It was again on sale for a dollar and you can take your washi tape with you. My next part to this kit that I bought is the, of course, the clear, um, what is this called? <laughs> book cover, the book cover. And as you can see, you can pop these little holes out so you can add your rubber bands. You can see they come right out. You can put it on your cover and add your rubber bands. Now, why didn't I have all this put together before I started this video? I will tell you. It was because um, you have to put it together after you put this on. And this is gonna play a big role in what I wanna do with you guys today. So I'm gonna put that aside and explain that in just a minute. Lastly, the one of my favorite things about this collection is every time you buy elastics to add things into your journal, you get this beautiful charm to hang off of your journal. If you noticed, it is hanging from all of mine because I did buy extra elastics for all of my journals. I love that. I think it's like a cute little detail. It's beautiful to have there hanging. If you don't want to put it on your journal, it does have a clip there so you could put it in other places like your keychain. And it's Jane Davenport uh, artwork. And lastly, but not very not least, you have these cute little teeny tiny pencil holders, which I think are amazing. I did buy two so that I could have two per journal, one in this beautiful rainbow color theme and one in this gold one. I love Midori journals so much. They are so fun. I love being able to customize what you travel with. I, I just absolutely love it. Again, here's the paper that's in all of that stuff. I read it. It doesn't give you any direction or anything. So for right now, I'm going to take this little booklet out that comes with this journal and set it to the side. And I'm going to lay this flat. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out as well. We can always put it back in. No worries. Now, let's design this art journal cover. I watch YouTube way too much, you guys. <laughs> I really do. I watch YouTube way, way, way too much. And I will tell you, I watched someone paint on canvas shoes with alcohol markers. And all they did was color it and then spray alcohol and all the alcohol, um, all the alcohol marker bled and it was beautiful to me. So, <clears throat> that being said, because this is a white design and obviously it won't show up very well on this white background, I'm gonna design this cover. So I want to take, put these to the side. I wanna take my alcohol inks. I'm gonna spray my 91 isopropyl alcohol all over this cover and I'm just gonna start dripping them and hoping that they bloom in a way that we like. Now, I am gonna pull some colors, and as I'm going, let's see if you guys can guess what I'm gonna do on this cover, okay, you guys? Um, let's just see if you guys can see my vision while we're working. So I have my alcohol ink selected. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just gonna spray this down with my rubbing alcohol, and because it does dry quite quickly, I'm just...
much finished. I think I need to go ahead and put it, put this on to see if I'm gonna like the design. Of course I'm gonna like the design. I came up with it myself. Snug little fit, which does not make me upset at all. I actually kind of like it when they're snug like that. Oh, how cute. So you can see her dancing amongst the stars. Yay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's open our band kit here. All right. There's my little charm. So let's get crack lacking on lacing this journal together. Now, people make it more complicated than it needs to be. Um, I don't really pay attention. The reason why I wanted to do this um, while the cover is on so that I could secure the cover through the holes with my bands when I added extra bands. So, you have choice number one. You can go ahead and start lacing these in. Now, it does get a little tight and you have to maneuver the um, existing bands in the holes. You have to kind of like maneuver them around, pull them around. So, just be aware. So, I went in one hole and out that hole so this is the inside of the cover so I have one straight line on the inside of the cover so I am going to pull tight this green and I'm going to leave just a little tail to be tied and the thing is is most people pull and tie in here I don't like that I like it I don't want um, a big knot in the middle of my sections so I actually tie up here and I'm okay with that I think it looks just fine. All right. I don't really mind the knot being up here um, at all. So now I have one section. This is the first half. Pulled through and tied. That's fine. I'm going to go into this one down here and make a loop. And again, that's what I was telling you. It will help hold this cover in place. You won't need to take it back off. All right, put that through just like the other side. There's that. And now you have a straight line on the other side. So you have two sections that you can now add items in. That's four altogether. If you, if you stopped here, you would have four signatures in your book. Okay, tie this and cut the excess. Now I do this because I don't want to throw away the excess. I keep it just in case I want to add an extra strap somewhere. See how much we have left over off of that band? You can use it again. Don't throw it away. All right, so I have that. I have all, I have two more colors. So, mm. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this um, and uh, I'll be right back to um, show you the rest. <laughs>
Okay guys, I'm back and I have tied in, as you saw, all of my um, <coughs> signature holders, I guess you would call them, bands. Now I'm going to take this beautiful girl here. Let me see if I, I keep waving this charm around and I didn't get to like show you guys what exactly she looked like. She's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that um, band, I'm going to put it through this solid hole here. I'm going to leave the, the clip dangling because number one, I can add uh, my own little dangle to it later. Um, and I just feel like this is a little more sturdy. It's not going to fall off or break or I'm going to lose my charm. So, focus and let's do it. So what I do is my last signature band that I'm going to add, I'm going to, before I tie it, slide her on and give her a good tie double knot here. And I'm gonna make sure my little dangle hangs down and out of the knot because that would be bad. The whole point of leaving it out was to add things to it later. All right, now, put this excess. It's not all the excess, but there you go. So I have my dangly charm on there now. I have my signatures in nice and tight. Um, I have the Midori part the, that holds all this together um, when it's closed, like so. Add it in. So now, now that I've designed the cover, I have my beautifulness going on here. I have all my signatures in. I'm going to take these little guys. Now, you can use these or you don't have to. I like to use them. Um, they are meant to hold two strands together. So technically, if you didn't want knots, you could put your strings in here and clamp them together with this and they would hold. Um, I don't trust them. So a lot of people don't trust them, so they knot this string in here. But I knot my string out here because number one, I don't mind all the colors being there. But number two, um, I just like a flat string on the inside. I like my signatures to lay flat. So I'm gonna get one, two, three of these bad boys out of here. Sit these out. And I'm gonna close that up. And I take these extras and clamp them closed right here, right on top of these extra colors. All right, and then I'll cut the excess off. All right guys, there that is. Very cute, very cool. I really like it. I'm gonna pull this blue down a little bit and I'm gonna pull these guys out this way so that that makes my girl hang a little better when I close the book. Good, okay. Now, let's add our signatures. So, we have our pockets. I, what I like to do is I like to put my, my um, signatures in order as to how I like to put them in the book <coughs> like that
so here we go I have pocket booklet that comes with it I'm not 100% sure what type of paper that is it might be for writing but I use it for sketching pocket watercolor paper pocket marker paper pocket marker paper So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight signatures for eight bands. All right, so easy as one through three, you guys. I'm telling you what, look at this. Just easy, you just put it in. Pick a band, slide it on. amongst the stars <coughs> all right so this is what it looks like closed and full with our signatures not bad let me get close I'm gonna see something Okay, and there you have it, a completed Midori from start to finish with a beautiful, beautiful design on the cover created by yours truly. Um, do I recommend this? 100% yes. I love these journals. They are so fun. <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm actually going to... You can, you can co-mingle things, you can move things around. If I wanted a calendar in that, um, on top of it being my art journal, I most certainly could put a calendar in there. Um, like I said, I would like to have this. I'm actually gonna put that in my using, one that I'm using right now. Say I didn't want as much marker paper in there, I could move the marker paper. And I could slide this guy in here and have an extra pocket, um, an extra pocket here and a zipper pocket there. Right in there, like so. Boom shakalaka. And now I have all that. So, I mean, things are interchangeable. You can move things, you can add things, and you can have a lot of fun. Um, like I said, my journal is getting a lot of use. I travel a lot and, um... It gets really cumbersome trying to carry a craft bag. So, do I recommend these to people? Yes, 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 yes. I do 100% recommend these to people. I love them so much that um, I bought, I have three. I have three and now all three are beautifully designed and pretty. These are Jane Davenport's designs and this one's mine. So, 
I hope you guys have a view. I didn't put my little, or did not put my, um, pencil pouches on it. Might as well, right, while we're here. This one, I'm just because this is empty, I'm gonna put them on the inside. Like that. There. So now I have straps right there. Close it up. It isn't going anywhere. There. I might do the same to this one. You never know. In conclusion, do I love these? Yes. Would I recommend them to other people? Yes. Please, for the love of all things that is already, check them out. <laughs> no, that's stupid. Did I have fun doing this? I had a 100% great time. I love this so much. I am so glad that I decided to do this. I'm so glad that um, I bought these. They are so fun to play with. They are very convenient to carry with you. Like I said, the, the pockets are very durable. It's great uh, plastic. And the, um, the inserts are wonderful. The paper is very good quality. Uh, I really do enjoy it. Um, I also love the fact that I could essentially measure the paper, cut some more, and create my own pages if I wanted to, to put in here. Um, to take with me. I love that I can take all things that I need to do quick little journal, teeny tiny journal pages. Um, it's quicker to do smaller journal pages, so I love the idea of this. And I love the customizableness of it. I love that you can interchange things. Um, would I recommend people these journals? 100% yes, I would. Uh, I love these journals. They are great. They let you be creative, especially the white one that you can create your own um, backgrounds and your own uh, cover to. I really loved that. That was really fun. Um, and I had never used alcohol inks in that way before, so why not? Um, I love the fact that they have the covers on there to protect your artwork and or Jane's artwork. I hope you guys had fun watching me create my own Midori style journal. Of course, my style is a little different than hers, but whatever. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I had a ton of fun too. And as always, be inspired. Bye y'all.